Hey, Dan Larson here. Fab Feeder Pro MB is an awesome multiband compression plugin that is so unique that I barely see any similar on the market. It's basically the love child of Pro C compressor and Pro Q equalizer. To demonstrate the awesomeness of this plugin, I prepared three examples for you. In the first example, I set up a Neuro drum and bass bass loop where I used Pro MB to add a huge boost only on the transients of the bass. In the second example, I dropped the Pro MB on the master track to duck the sub and boost the top end whenever the snare hits. All this inside Pro MB as a single plugin. In the third example, I used the sidechain input to do the same like previously, duck the very sub whenever the drums hit. Ok, after all, I'm sure that you can't wait to jump into and tweak Pro MB, so let's do it. After you see what Pro MB can do, I'm sure you will want to add it to your library. You can grab Pro MB at the Warp Academy plugin store. I dropped the direct link in the video for you. Before I show you my favorite things on the Pro MB, let me analyze the graphical user interface very briefly. One of my favorite things in this is this button where you can go full screen. So this is a very very handy thing. Ok, so you can see the spectrum here and wherever you click you create an EQ band, but for every band you have a compressor. And actually this is a very very advanced compressor that I really really love. So first let's talk about the bands. You can widen the bands or narrow the bands and if you use your mouse wheel you can tweak the roll of rate of every band and every breakpoint of the band and just like in a regular EQ you can tweak this bands level so this is a very nice way and actually this will make sense when we will talk about the range knob you can create several bands with individual compressors and you can create special bands for the low and for the high frequencies. And if you want to kill that band with a compressor, just click on the panel's X button. And boom, you kill them. And with these buttons, you can solo the band or mute the band, which is very important for proper auditioning the bands and the sounds that you are tweaking. OK, so now let's analyze the compressor. You have a regular threshold knob from minus 90 dB to 0 dB. We have the attack time and the release time, but in Pro MB we don't have time in milliseconds, but we have percentage. So keep that in mind, you won't be able to set the milliseconds, but only percentage. But when we talk about compressors, you need to go after your ears anyway, so I don't think this is a big problem. We have an output knob for every band, as you can see, we can tweak it like a regular EQ. We have the ratio, which you can set to 100 to 1, so not infinity, so it won't act as a limiter basically. And you can go down really low where the compressor basically won't do anything. You can set the knee to hard to soft knee. And you can set some look ahead for smarter computing. And transients will be very thankful for that. Now we haven't talked about two things. The range knob and the compress and expand buttons. So when you are in compress mode, ProMB will decrease the level of the signal when it reaches the threshold level. But in expand mode, Pro MB will increase the volume of the signal when it reaches the threshold level. The easiest way to explain what the range knob does is to demonstrate it. So, for example, when you are in compressed mode, Pro MB will decrease the volume of every band based on the input signal, something like this. So, as you can see, this yellow line represents the gain reduction, which really depends on the input signal. And it always starts from zero, but with the range knob, I can go higher, so basically I applied some EQing and the gain reduction will not start from 0 decibel, but from plus 4 decibels. And the same happens when I'm expand mode. As you can see, Pro MB is not decreasing the volume, but increasing the volume. But with the range knob, I can tweak this too. I can go down, so basically I just applied an EQ and ProMB will try to fix this EQing using the expander based on the input signal. It is easier to see if I tweak the threshold. 
So with the range knob, it really makes sense what I meant when I told you that ProMB is basically a love child of an EQ and a compressor. There is also an expert button here, which opens a new tab or a new window. And there are several other knobs here, which are very, very cool things again. So if I click on the free instead of the band, I can tell ProMB that the signal that it should analyze will not come from the band that I'm just tweaking, but from a different section that I can set here. So for example, this can be very handy if you have a snare drum and you want to tweak, for example, the top end of the whole song or of the whole drum loop based on the snare hit. So whenever the snare hits, you can boost or cut the top end. Also, you can use sidechain input too. So you can set it to external or internal sidechain input and you can audition that sidechain input. And last, with the stereo link, you can set if you want to process your mid or side signals. Okay, so after we analyze the graphical user interface, let's check our first example. And that is basically the same loop that I just showed you. This is how it sounds. And what I did here is I added some huge transient boosting on this percussive bass sound, because without the Pro MB, this sounds like this. With the Pro MB. Okay, so let me show you what I did here. So I set only one band here, and I put it into expand mode and I cranked up the range. So what I did here basically is I selected a very short amount of range based on the attack and the release time. So what I told Pro Ambi to look after very short transient, very short signals, and when it founds it, just try to expand it. So this is why we are in expanding mode. And the threshold is not very drastic. And this is because I didn't want to conflict with the other elements of the bass. I just wanted to grab the peak. I just wanted to catch the peaks of this bass sound. The magic came when I tried to tweak the range knob. So right now you can hear that basically I didn't leave anything on the top end, but a transient. But if I tweak the range knob, I leave everything the same like before, but I increase the top end only on the transients of the bass. And I love the visual representation of this on this yellow line. Now before the Pro MB created some huge boosts on the volume on the transients, I had to add a saturator that basically chops off these peaks and we won't have any digital clipping but some slight analog saturation. Okay, let's jump to the next example. Just before we get going, I would like to invite you to join the community by hitting subscribe and activating notifications. That way you won't miss a beat and you will get the heads up as soon as we post them. In this rhythm example, I put the Pro MB on the group and the group contains drums and one bass loop. And what I tried to achieve here is tell Pro MB that whenever the snare hits, I want to dock the very low end drastically and add some top end. And let me show you how I made it. Let's start with the low end. So as you can see, I clicked the expert tab and I told Pro MB that I want to use a free sidechain filtering mode. And with that, I was able to set that whenever the snare hits in this frequency range, Pro MB understands that and docks the very low end whenever the input signal comes in with the snare. And the same happens at the top end. As you can see, I set the same source, and that is the snare. And when the snare hits, Pro MB increases the very top end. And for that, I had to set only a few things. First of all, as I told you before, I had to set the free sidechain filtering mode. And after setting the threshold level, the attack and release time, on the top end, I had to crank up the range. And on the low end, I had to pull back the range. 
And with this, I was able to set up a very nice mastering tool that I can use basically in every song. And in the third example, I set up a very similar rhythm groove that previously I did. Okay, and in this example, I tried to do the same like previously. I taught Pro MB to duck the very sub, the very low end, whenever the drums hit. But this time I use a sidechain input. And before we analyze what I did in Pro MB, let me show you how I set up in Ableton. So when I wanted to do that, I had two options. The first one is the most obvious way. I set the audio output, not to the master, but to the 7 read 155E sin bass blah 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 track, this track that contains Pro MB. And I can set the track into stereo sidechain fab filter Pro MB. Okay, when I did that, ProMB will automatically receive the sidechain input. But, as you can hear, my drums disappear. So this is not the most ideal way to do that. So let's set it back to master. And what I did here is I used a return chain to feed ProMB. So I sent the drums to this sidechain return track. And on the return track, I set the output to stereo sidechain fab filter ProMB. And this is all from this point, ProMB will receive the sidechain input. And the only thing I had to set in ProMB is set the sidechain from internal to external. And the compressor settings are very, very simple again. I pulled back the threshold to minus 23 decibels and I set very, very fast attack and release time because I didn't want to have any additional milliseconds, only the length of the drums. I set the ratio to 4 to 1. And the only thing I tweet is pull back the band range very drastically to minus 30 decibels. So basically I try to reduct as much as possible from the low end based on the input signal. Okay, so as you saw, it's no question that Pro MB is now the leader of multiband compressors on the market. You can boost transients, top ends based on the behavior of your track so this tool can be a wonder for mastering tool. Or if it's not enough, you can feed Pro MB with any signal to use it as a sidechain source to create magic with it. Honestly, I'm blown away what this plugin can do and we just scratch the surface. So these were my tips and tricks on the Pro MB. If you enjoyed this video, go and check Warp Academy website for other cool videos, courses and even audio software. Peace!